Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. Yeah, I found a neat little tool. It's, uh, it's an Avid tool and it's actually supposed to be a uh, Kyosho turnbuckle and shock tool. So we'll see what that does for shock absorbers later and um, hopefully it'll get here before I'm done with that. If not, I'll uh, go back and revisit uh, what that's going to do. But I definitely wanted to get myself a 5.5 millimeter turnbuckle wrench on the way here. So now it's time to uh, go ahead and do our sway bar. And this is identical to the, uh, the last sway bar that we did. So same pieces. These two pieces, and we need our 2.4 sway bar. And go ahead and just uh, screw that in here now. Okay, so we're through step 30. And it's time to attach the front assembly to the chassis.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pre-tap or thread, cut threads into these uh, four holes here. And I'll do that using one of these and then I will use titanium to put that all together and then we need a 3 by 10 button head to anchor on our uh, bumper so instead of making you watch me go through all this I'm gonna go ahead pause up and uh, cut the threads Okay, so first thing is to uh, attach this. Now, as you can see, it's going to go over the space here. So the bolts will go through these two holes, the uh, bolts that come up through the bottom of the chassis. And then we have a single bolt here that's going to go down there and attach the bumper from there from that position so that's easy enough to do go ahead and tighten that and now now we can mount this now you want to put your drive shaft over or excuse me under this uh, steering shaft right here a little notch right here which is kind of got to snap in like that let's try the front first there we go Now, if you are using titanium, it's probably wise to thread them part way and then start on another screw because they're going to heat up a lot as they go into the plastic and that gives them a chance to cool. So, you know, do it like halfway and then move on to another screw. Okay, it's starting to look like a buggy. I can't wait to have this thing built. This is going to be so much fun to drive. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Uh, this is bag number six. nice this is our aluminum uh, motor mount and um, uh, that's gonna probably hold part of the uh, center diff and this thing weighs nothing that's really impressive it's uh, it's obviously aluminum but I mean the way they've uh, you know ground out down here they've cut a hole here they've cut a hole here uh, they have shaved it and it just is feather light now 
This I'm not going to use. This is the standard motor mount. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I am using that. Um, I'm thinking of the Techno again. Sorry. Uh, the Techno has a, uh, a second mount that you can buy separately. It's called uh, an LCG or low center of gravity mount and it mounts the motor as low to the chassis as possible uh, which is sweet so surprising that wasn't a stock part um, in fact it may be i haven't checked a lot of the things that were upgrades on the uh, earlier techno short course truck on their 0.3 version uh, has almost everything Wow, those are some really wimpy turnbuckles. If these are our steering turnbuckles, that's very light. I mean, light and light. I guess they are probably steel, and they have made them as thin as possible, I guess. Interesting. No complaints. So let's see. We've got to trim this, this, this. Looks like we've got a couple pieces here and here. Um, clean those up if need be. Well, looks like it will need to be. That one came out pretty good. screws I'm not sure what for but we'll leave them in the bag until we find out <clears throat> oh, that's nice and light too surprised it's not hollow now this is not a turnbuckle and they do not give us size on it like how long it should be so I wish they drilled a hole in it or something so that we had something to grab onto I guess we can do it this way let's see yeah, that fits nicely. That one does not fit. It's a little thicker metal. Hmm. That'll be close enough. Actually. Gonna keep tightening this down till we hit bottom at both ends and then level it out. A couple of degrees more. Okay. Now we need two ball sockets. That's not it. There we go. There's the two large ones. Make sure you choose correctly. Um, there's a smaller size, and then there's this, which is not what you want either.
Okay, let's get the nose piece uh, for body mount. This little guy right here. Remember this from our pretty much our first bag. And that is going to attach to here with a screw and the little pin facing forward into the forward hole. And we need a three by ten. Go ahead and use a titanium piece. Okay, now even though this is um, countersunk, this must be a piece that was uh, just carried over from the, uh, the 9 or from the uh, fuel model. Um, and there would be a screw going down there for something, but in this case, uh, we're going to have this piece bolted on here with a another 3 by 10 but this time a button head 3 by 10 and we're going to want a little bit of Loctite on here is that an 8 or a 10? first one looked like an 8 that's a 10 okay good Well, that is strange. Is this, is this threaded? No, it's not. So what are we supposed to be doing here? Ah, these are the pieces, not these. They look very much alike. These will help us pop off. Those are threaded. Strange thing is, is that these don't have a wrench fitting. And there's no way to really tighten them, but they do seem to stick to the metal. So I was able to tighten it just the same. Okay. Now, if you recall, I put a couple of uh, holding screws in here just to keep the steering assembly from falling out while I was flipping the chassis upside down and right side up and all over the place so do we need anything else under there or I guess not so I'll put a little bit of Loctite on these Just barely finger tight. Okay, tighten those up in just a second. And we need four by tens. Looks like we are out of titanium four by tens. I'll just go ahead and use these and put that on the list. Okay. Let's 
Step 32 is complete. Step 33 is going to be our steering turnbuckles. <clears throat> and, oh God, it's almost seven in the morning. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get shut eye before the sun comes completely up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and please subscribe to my channel. 